Well, turning a classic snack of meats and cheese into a work of art, charcuterie reports have been growing in popularity, and one Mainer has made it a successful business. We have Marie Grasser here with us this morning, owner of Charcuterie Marie. Thank you so much. Charcuterie Marie. Charcuterie Marie. Kind of a play on words, Jeff, right? Thank you. That's a great name. Thank you. Truly a work of art. These are absolutely incredible. So, you, from what I read on your website, went from wedding planner to charcuterie expert. How did that come about? Yes, absolutely. So it was 2020 and I was working as a full-time wedding planner. We had to postpone every single wedding that summer, which had me really down mm -hmm. and sad. And I was just missing that form of gathering, being with my people. So for me, the charcuterie board has always been the place where especially the women in my family gather around their charcuterie board at your kitchen, at your dining room table have conversations, have good wine, <laughs> have <laughs> all of those really meaningful moments. So I started making them and I uh, was encouraged by one of my cousins to try to sell them. And I'm like, who's gonna buy this? Nobody. We sold out for Christmas that year. Oh wow! And here we are uh, three years later and it's my full-time business. I have an amazing team of women that work with me um, and we're really, really excited. Yeah, have you had a, a passion for, for cheese and meat too over the years? Or is that, that, is that where this comes from too, <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> right? I know. Yes, if I could exclusively eat <laughs> cheese, meat, and bread, <laughs> that would be my palate. I can relate. And I love that you can kind of make it your own. Yes. Um, so yeah. what do we have kind of on these boards today? And are we going to make our own We're going little? to make okay. our own little board. This is like a challenge or something. Uh, yes, oh, maybe. Yes. So we have a couple different types of cheeses. You have brie, a cheddar, a manchego, and and a goat cheese. Mm. So you have different types of milk, a cow's milk, a sheep's milk, and a goat's milk to really be able to um, expand those palates and flavors. So we're gonna start with our ramekins here. You have oh, cornichons, it. you have an empty one, which we'll These put our pickles, salami pickles, rose right. in. Pickles. <laughs> okay. pickles in. Okay. And then okay. you have either a jam or a honey. Both Ooh. are yummy to put on charcuterie boards. Okay. We're gonna start with our brie. Okay. And you're gonna take your little knife, you're gonna cut it in half. Okay. You're gonna cut these in half. Okay. And you're going to make sort of eight semi equal okay. slices. Half, Love. half, half. Half, yeah. half, and we half. We can do that. Without <laughs> cutting that. myself, all right. I know, yes. be careful. Brie is such a. So we're gonna have eight pieces at the end? Is that what yes. we're gonna do? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't have to be all perfect. Evil. Well, it won't it's be kinda far to from slice. perfect. Yeah. But so delicious. Yeah. You're gonna take. One of your biggest pieces, okay. and you're gonna stick it right up against your jam or your honey. Love. And we're going to oh, that way. <laughs> wait, 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 here we go. Sort of okay. stack it oh. right on top of each other to create oh, yeah. a nice little breeze. See, just like a little spiral. There you go. Oh, okay. Exactly. Look at that. Gorgeous. All the way around. <laughs> okay. Amazing. From there. <laughs> You got it. Good job. Well, I don't know about that, but <laughs> <laughs> you're okay. going to take your manchego, yep. which is your sheep's milk. I don't really, even know what that this is, is our what next is step. Nutty. Manchego. It's very it's, manchego. yeah, nutty is a yeah. great word what is, for yeah. that. This is manchego exactly. right yep. here. Yeah, it is. Yep. Right. It's a Spanish cheese. Um, Looks really like apple. It almost does. I think it's yeah. funny Doesn't because it? the the plates that we're working on are already so gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> I know it could be ish. <laughs> so this is kind of we put it around. Too. Is that what we do? Yes. Yeah, so that's what great. we're doing is kind of either way. Yep. We kind of do sort of a zigzag form, cool. okay. or you can do it around. What Link I really the love. I love <laughs> the sunshine. I love that. It's beautiful. Yes. What I love about charcuterie is that you really can make it your own. Yes. Everybody has their own. Uh, sort of style and, and aesthetic, manner. yes. And that I feel like that's the really special. <laughs> yes, we do. Style. Oh, yeah. And uh, do you? Um, where do you get like your produce from? So typically, we try to work with local farms if we can. We get them through our wholesaler as well, awesome. depending on the season. Especially this time of year, we love to use figs. Coming yeah. up for holidays, we love to use pomegranates. All of that good Amazing. Stuff. So now we're going to learn how to do a salami Yay. rose. Okay, I've been wanting to. This is like been on my bucket list for years. I've yes. seen them on like Pinterest and I'm like, yes. how do you do that? Yeah. Okay. So this is where our empty ramekin yes. guy will keep it where it is for now, but that's okay. where it will sort of come in handy. Oh, love it. All right, what are we doing now? So okay. you're going to take your calabrese okay. salami. Yep. You're going to take your first piece and fold it in half. Okay. okay. And then you're going to roll it from left to right. Okay. And this is going to be sort of the oh. middle of your flour. It's like so a that cone. You have it's going nice to look like a cone. Like that. Yep. Yeah, perfect. Right. Hold that tightly in your hand. Tight. Take your next piece. Do the same thing. And you or? sort of see where this ends. Yeah. You're going to match it up and roll it right around. Okay. Got it. Yes, exactly. 
and, and you're going to continue to okay. do that. <laughs> How you doing, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see it. Okay. Yes. Oh, it's starting yep. to form a little bit. Exactly. It's so getting tight, though. It. Okay, doesn't matter. Just yep. as long as you hold it. Usually, what I do is I'll push it down if it sort of pops yeah. up. There's also multiple different ways to do this. Right. I'm sure you guys have seen the wine glass trend. I have. Yes. And all of that. Okay. That's definitely a unique method. Yes, it is. <laughs> and the reason I like this method is that it allows your guests to grab slices easier, where sometimes with the wine glass oh, method, right. it sort of gets stuck yep. in itself. Okay. So once you have pieces yeah. and you can't really hold it anymore, you're gonna pop it right <gasps> in that ramekin. It oh. looks like a rose. And you're just going Where's to your ramekin? Judge oh. it out. <laughs> oh yes. So okay. that it really, you're sort of fluffing your petals. Oh my gosh. And making it like it's gorgeous. gorgeous. <laughs> so, so you do all types of different events, is that correct? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So we mostly do weddings, uh, especially right now with fall. Main in the fall is one of our favorite oh, times yes. to have weddings, and it definitely just all the colors and the foliage. So we usually will set up for cocktail hour. You might have another caterer that does your main food, but for us, that's sort of where where we focus on. And then we also do individual boards as well. So if you're looking, oh, nice. if you don't want to make everything yourself, <laughs> you <laughs> right, exactly. just want it to look homemade, um, but not have the work, then yes. we can absolutely do that for you. So All we right. have different sizes. What's you your biggest grab. pro tip for someone who does want to do this at home? What do you think is the most important thing? I would say a variety of your cheeses, yeah. definitely. So that it's not all the same texture, it's not all the same flavor. Mm -hmm. So really making sure you're mixing it up, making sure that you are using sort of different you know, jams or nuts or olives or anything that you really love to eat, yep. I feel like is just exactly what you should put on These the board. Yeah. How, look how popular has been this uh, with your company? How many, I mean, yeah, are you guys, the phone's ringing off the hook, you're getting so many emails about it? It's orders? quite busy, yeah. It's been amazing to really see our, the community um, just totally embrace us and to be able to create edible art. <laughs> it is edible art, that's cheese. what I'm saying. And yeah. I cannot tell you how much I love going to work every day and being able to just play with my food. Yes, <laughs> right, exactly. This is a reason to play yeah. with food. Jeff, yeah. yours looks that, amazing. Is that not bad? Not bad. Uh, little Starburst charcuterie. Yes. The other thing I would say is, you know, using a variety of fruits or different yes. uh, oh, I colors. Love the apricots. Absolutely. Yeah. With strawberries, one thing I love to do is cut those in half. Yep. And we just sort of place those around the board so that it really sort of adds that garnish. What that if one of the cookies absolutely ends up on my mouth? Is that all right? <laughs> oh, that's oh, totally go for fine. It, I right? know you have that's yummy the, yeah. maple and pumpkin spice cookies to <gasps> kind of go with the season. Wow. So obviously looking for anything that's sort of fun and seasonal as well really lends itself. I, I think I and, ran out of room. Okay, I know, right? My school <laughs> too. Uh, where can people learn more about your company and uh, maybe you know reach out if they'd like you to uh, make them a charcuterie Absolutely. board? Absolutely. So you can find us on Instagram or online at charcuterie or www.charcuterie.com. And my sister and I are actually in the process of opening up a cocktail and charcuterie bar Ooh, in the Biddeford area wow. called Sounds Apero. Like so we really hope that you guys both stop in yes. and see us. Yeah, keep us posted on an opening date for that, okay? Yeah, we absolutely will. All right, <laughs> Marie, thank you so much. There Look how beautiful. Wait, what, oh, what, is, what is this, okay. right? What is this? I know. That's, That's gorgeous. Rosemary. So rosemary, the last okay. step is always adding in that little bit of garnish, that little pop of green, Amazing. sort of placing it around your board. And you and can eat the flower? You can. Oh. They are edible. Flower. All right, enjoy. <laughs> Out of all the things on the plate, that's what he goes to try the flower, yeah. Right? Uh, thank you so much again. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> Is it good? Flowers.